a quick and easy tutorial on how to use this really 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 tiny barrel this is actually a half inch 24 karat gold plated barrel really 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 cool I'm going to show you how to take this little bitty wand and make these really really beautiful voluminous curls all over using my straight hair from West Kiss so I'm not going to bore you guys I'm going to jump right into the tutorial and then I'll be back with my thoughts on this hair Yo, someone said I look like Remy Ma before jail. Kind of funny because this is exactly what she looked like, but I absolutely love this hair. I love the color. I think it adds the perfect little touch if you're not too risky. That way you can go ahead and add a little bit of fun for the spring and the summertime. And then when you're tired of it, you can go ahead and dye it black, black like nothing happened. So jumping right into it, I've been wearing this hair for about two to three weeks. Um, I believe it's 28, 28, 26, 26. Um, and then a 20 inch 4x4 four four closure that I made into a wig. Right now I'm taking the hot tool out of the box. I picked this up from Sally's. I'll have it linked down below. It's a hot tool by the brand Hot Tools. Um, this hair update, as you can see, it's not tangled in the nape, which happens a lot with long hair, especially straight hair for me. And as you guys just seen, um, I didn't have really any tangling or anything like that. This hair has held up amazingly. Let me get a little bit natural shedding here, but who doesn't get natural shedding? I mean, whose hair does not shed so I, I was about to use my baby list um, flat iron to flatten up the base of the head um, then I realized oh no just use the curling iron girl that's what you bought it for heats up really fast um, I have quite a few hot tools from this brand so I always find that they work really well the key to this is sectioning off the hair um, I always find that curls work better on old hair even with my real hair back in the day I would get my hair pressed um, and wear it like straight with a little bit of bump to it and then by like the, the third or fourth day be ready for some curls and it would hold great um as you guys can see i slowed down or i stopped I, <laughs> I slowed down so you guys can see exactly how i did that first curl and i'm speeding it back up a little bit um just taking really small sections and um, it has the clamp where you can curl it using that but i'm just going to use it like a wand curler and just take a really small section and just wind it around to the end. I have to use really small sections. First of all, that's the look I want for um, the curls. And then also because the barrel is shorter than the length of the hair, you do find that um, if you use too thick of a piece, which you'll see throughout, um, it won't fit. You'll have to like go back and kind of like bulk it up and it won't get the best of a curl if that makes any sense. So the curls in the front I did towards my face but the curls around the rest of the head I'm going to do going um, away from my face. I went ahead and slowed it down a little bit um, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. It's not sped up at all right now so you see in real time exactly how I rolled the hair onto the barrel, how much hair I used, how long I am holding it there which just about 10-15 seconds and then let it go and it's literally the perfect little curly fry ringlet they're gonna look so cute when it's done I promise I am very impatient and as you can see with the hair being long I ran out of space so I kind of just I rolled it up the opposite way I'm not gonna get the best of a curl and you're gonna see exactly that curl was not as fle fleeky as the first curl so use less hair kind of take your time I kind of went back and fixed it a little bit being lazy but that's about the perfect amount of hair to get you will see that um, the hair does get tangled as you roll it up really really fast so kind of just try to smooth it out along the way and take your time so that you're not making it frizzy use the rat tail comb to kind of comb the hair out um, as you go and the more you do the more you'll get used to it I know a lot of people say oh, I don't know how to curl my hair always do curl your hair at night and see how it happens or what happens and you know practice makes perfect so I finished my first little section and I kind of wanted to just see if this is exactly what I wanted added a little bit of oil sheen my favorite care care silk, silk and sheen came through in the clutch also before I started I added a little bit of my Paul Mitchell skinny serum and I'm going to take a new section, just go in small sections and part the rest of the hair out of the way. That way, um, this is the most accurate way to do without getting any frizziness because, you know, hair is in the way. Um, it helps to make sure that you are basically being as efficient as possible and not missing any pieces. Sometimes when you do a big um, section all at once, you'll find little stray pieces in between that um, 
got hidden I guess you can say um, so this basically is the accurate way to do it just small pieces section the hair the rest of the hair away and keep going listen to some music watch a movie because again I am impatient with stuff like this so you will see that I will take a break and come back tomorrow because I just don't have the energy and the time and my kids just they don't they don't allow me to do my hair anymore like cute little styles like this it takes me two days half today half tomorrow be careful not to brush the curls out because you want them to stay exactly in place and set until you're done with all the hair. Because if you brush the curls out on the side that you do and you still have a while before you get to the opposite side, um, you know, it won't be as equally yoked, I would say. And I kind of just hold the curling iron at the base of my head. Like the curling iron itself is touching my head. And this helps me to hold it in place, especially because your arm gets tired. And then voila, you have more curls. They're not perfect and uniform, but they are all going the opposite way. And then again, those three curls in the front are going towards my face. And as you're going to see when I'm done, it's not going to look weird or awkward. Um, I just like the way it looks when the curls in the front go towards my face. And then I just find that it's easier to curl going away the rest of the way. That's literally the only reason I did it this way. But of course, I could have done the front curls away too. But you kind of just see the way they cuff going towards. It just looks better in the front. Like if you're doing big like Farrah Fawcett Kardashian curls, they look good going away from your face in the front. But if you're doing curls like this, I don't know why. It just looks better in the front. So I'm going to do the whole top row. Um, what is that? Like four or five curls in the front going towards. And then anything that hits like right where that curl is, is going to go away. Also make sure that you're using a mirror to look in the back because you're going to see when I show you guys what this looks like in the back that there was a little piece where I had like two sections where I could have went up a little bit higher but this is exactly what we're doing from straight to curly. I was trying to get me a little thumbnail in now we're at the next day I'm going to finish curling off camera just wanted to show you that the curls still remained now to my thoughts on the okay, hair. Okay so I can't even deny it took me literally two days to finish this hair not literally two days but I did this side yesterday and then I just laid it really flat on my table. I didn't want to put it on my carpet or anything but texture because I didn't want it to suck out all of the nutrients and moisture that you guys see me put in. And then I just now finished this side off camera in the bathroom. And this is pretty much the results. Let me show you guys from the back. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of my silken sheen to the top just for a nice salon finished look. I love it when the hair is shiny, not shiny like synthetic, but like cute shiny. And I'm going to take the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. You can use any oil that you like. I just like the way. So I'm going to just run it through the ends of the hair without like raking it or finger combing it to marry all the curls together and make them look very uniform and natural. Make sure to moisturize those ends really good because you've just put a little bit or a lot of bit of heat in it. And I don't like to really pull the curls apart. I just kind of like to take a little bit of oil and kind of like mush it and marry it together. That way it does loosen up without me like taking a comb through it or anything like that. The hair was straight hair originally and um, it's still holding up really well. There was no, um, you know, excessive tangling or shedding. Even here where I bleached um, these little highlights, I didn't find that the, the hair right here had any like adverse effects from using um, bleach on it or the heat. But I absolutely love the way this came out. Just gonna add a little bit of parting or powder in the parting um, before I take my little pictures. But yeah, I absolutely love this hair. I was thinking about cutting it really short into a bob, something a little asymmetrical because I'm loving these highlights and I think it will complement it super well. It's like it is a little bit ghetto for work, but it's not too in your face to wear. Um, depending on your job, you know, it won't be too crazy. But yeah, with these curls, I haven't really had any issues. I didn't have any issues with the hair curling. It curled just fine. You guys know it took the bleach just fine. So this is some awesome straight hair. Um, it reverts back straight after um, I curl it. So basically, I have no issues. So don't forget to check out the description bar. I have my original review on this hair, how I got the highlights and all that great stuff. I also have a link to where you can purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.